If you guys are planning a trip to Las Vegas and you want the top 10 travel tips slash things to be aware of or things to know before you come, then continue watching this video. So the first thing on our list is just kind of something to watch out for and that's when you're booking your reservations and that's resort fees you guys. You cannot get around resort fees and they're typically $40 a day. It's per day. It's not per the stay. It's per day you guys and depending on how, how fancy your hotel is depends on how much it's going to be but like I said typically $40. Sometimes it's $20. Sometimes it's $30 but depending on what hotel you're staying at and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up because if you haven't been to Vegas in a while or if you're first time coming to Vegas you guys are gonna be so surprised because you're gonna be booking your reservations and you're gonna think that your room is only $35 only $45 if you're getting a good rate and then you're gonna see that resort fee tack on plus taxes and then you're gonna be shocked so I just want to let you guys know that's something to look out for you guys the next tip is to watch out for street performers because they are not out there volunteering they want money you guys so be very careful because sometimes people take pictures of them take videos of them and then they sometimes get aggressive not all of them but some of them do get aggressive and they're gonna be charging you a hey, $20 where's my $20 where's my $20 some of them go up that high but you know if you guys do try to take a picture up with them make sure you guys are asking them beforehand like how much do you charge per picture can I take a video all that good stuff because you don't want to have any problems and you don't want them you know asking you for money and kind of like chasing you down so just be aware of that you guys next tip I have for you guys is visit outside the strip the strip is definitely wonderful you should definitely come to Las Vegas and check out the strip but I have three locations that you guys can also check out when you come to Las Vegas and one of them is downtown Las Vegas you guys that's where everything started so it's a little more old school it's usually like people that are 30s and up but it's a lot less expensive so think about traveling out to downtown Las Vegas even the casinos if you're trying to stay there if you're trying to get Gamble. everything is less expensive over there and then my other two spots is the Hoover Dam and the Grand Canyon you guys it is so beautiful if you guys want to get out there get your Instagram pictures and all that good stuff you could definitely get it there we did a me and my wife we did a tour and we went to both places definitely recommend it all you have to go is one time you guys don't have to go there over and over again but I definitely recommend you guys check it out at least one time you guys this next tip is very very important you guys and you have to wear comfy shoes you guys there is a lot of people that are out and about and they're not wearing comfy shoes including guys and also ladies you guys are wearing heels uh, wedges and all that good stuff and it's a lot of walking around when you're here in Vegas it doesn't seem like it's far but you guys it is far and then when you're inside the malls and walking around even more you guys your legs are gonna be hurting so yeah if you're gonna go to dinner you know of course you could dress up go to the club dress up all that good stuff but if you're gonna be walking around during the daytime I definitely recommend you guys get some comfy shoes and here's a little uh, selfless plug is I do have another channel it's called Caesar sneaks I'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to check it out it's all about sneakers but you guys you need to wear comfy shoes when you come to Vegas you guys the next tip is transportation and it's gonna be two parts is gonna be a tram and then one's gonna be a bus so the tram the first tram is gonna be at Mandalay Bay it also goes to the Luxor and it also goes to the Excalibur so that one's free and it goes in between so that way you guys don't have to walk the other tram is right here at the Aria and it goes from Aria, it goes all the way to the Bellagio, it goes to the Vodara and it goes to the Park MGM. It's absolutely free and it goes back and forth so you guys don't have to walk. The third thing I want to talk about is the bus. There is a bus here on Vegas Strip and it's called the Deuce. The Deuce is very inexpensive and it goes all the way to downtown Vegas. So consider getting the pass. There's a two-day pass and a three-day pass or the one-day pass. You guys, if you're going to be going back and forth and you're not worried about time because it does take some time to go from the strip to downtown and also vice versa all the way back. So think about taking the deuce or any of the tram to help your toes, to help your feet so you guys are not walking all that distance. You guys, this next tip is definitely going to be a time saver and it's just like new technology that they got going on here in Vegas and that's to have a digital room key. Okay, so I stay at the MGM, so it's the M Life property and what you do is you download the MGM app and what it is is you're able to check in on your phone. 
so you don't have to worry about waiting in line in the lobby and if you're coming on a busy weekend it could take up to 30 minutes up to an hour to wait in line so it's definitely going to be a time saver not only that you could check in on your app and you could even let them know that you're coming before 3 p.m most properties check in times at 3 p.m but you could put on there that you're going to be arriving earlier maybe 12 p.m 1 p.m and that's what we did this time we said we were coming at 1 p.m and we got the room earlier than we were supposed to so that's kind of like a time saving trick right there and it's also gets you your room key faster and it's very cool because you use technology you're using your phone to open up your room door which is very cool and also to get in the elevators so all you do is put your phone right up to it and it unlocks so it's a very cool thing that they got going on here now in vegas and like i said definitely a time save you guys this next one is a save money tip and save a lot of time not waiting in line you guys when you're coming to vegas and if you have a flexible schedule make sure you try to book during a weekday because if you book during a weekend a holiday weekend a regular weekend in the summertime or if they have a big event going on like they usually do on the weekends you guys are going to be spending a lot more money so like i said flexible work schedule or school schedule make sure you guys try to come during the weekdays because you could save up to three times up to even four times your fees so definitely try to book during the weekday so this next tip are for my people that are 21 years of age and older and like gambling so if you enjoy an alcoholic beverage you guys while you're playing slot machines do not forget that you are allowed a free drink or a free beer while you're playing all you have to do is call over the waitress and uh, it's absolutely 100% free as long as you're gambling I did want to say that if you want the waitress to keep coming around make sure you tip them because there's people that don't tip them at all and they're never gonna come back so if you enjoy your alcoholic drink make sure you're tipping and then make sure you have to be playing actively playing you can't just be sitting down and another question that I get a lot is are you able to drink while you're walking on the strip this is a within a tip within a tip and yes you can there is a lot of people that are drinking while walking around the strip walking around inside the casinos and all that you guys this next tip is not for everyone and it doesn't work every single time but when it works it is so sweet it's called the $20 sandwich trick let me know if you guys heard about it in the comment box below if you guys even tried it and if it worked or not so that's when you're doing a check-in so what you do is you get a basic room you go ahead and check in and when you're checking in you have your id you put a 20 dollars bill and then you put like your credit card so the 20 dollars bill is a sandwich right and what you do is you're hoping that the the teller the person in the front could actually give you an upgraded room for that 20 dollars and you're supposed to say hey do you have any complimentary upgrades that's the key word you're supposed to say complimentary upgrades hopefully they understand and that way you can actually get an upgraded room so this happened to us at mandalay bay our last day and it was 55 dollars to get a strip view we didn't pay it we got a basic room i did the 20 dollars trick and just like that we got the upgraded room so we ended up saving 35 dollars just for that but you could actually get upgraded to suites and all that good stuff so it's in their power of the person that's at the front desk to actually give you that upgrade that complimentary upgrade so try that out and let me know if it works for you guys for this next tip it's more of like a packing and what to bring to vegas you guys las vegas is in the desert even though it's a big city we kind of tend to forget that so in the summertime do not forget it gets crazy hot so bring your water bottles bring your water go to CVS to buy water not inside the casino because it's crazy expensive do not forget your sunscreen you know your bathing suits that you're gonna be going to the pool and all that good stuff but also I did want to say if you guys come to Vegas in the winter time or once it starts cooling down you guys do not forget to bring your sweaters jackets any of that good stuff because it does get extremely cold it's extremely hot in the summertime it gets extremely cold in the winter time so do not forget that and if your skin gets dry bring lotion bring chapstick all that good stuff so definitely bring all those things when you pack i hope you guys enjoyed all of my tips if you guys have tips of your own please put them down in the comments do not forget to hit like if you guys got any uh, enjoyment out of this video if you guys learned anything and i will check you guys out on the next video